Hello, it's Curly Warrior Mom, and that is my son taking a nap, which would be the perfect time to record a video for our Friday fitness tips. So this is going to be about yoga. But before I start, I'm going to hop on a Pinterest and share a tip with you about saving poses that you found on Pinterest. So basically what I do is I just screenshot individual pictures and then save them into like a collage. Um, so I'm just going to kind of show you an example of how I do it. So I'm just going to click some, a couple of random pictures just real quick, just so I can show you how I do it. So whenever I, um, take a screenshot, I crop it immediately. That way in my gallery, I don't have to worry about seeing all this extra stuff. Um, that keeps it neat and clean. And I like doing the whole, um, collage of these pictures for exercise because then I can look back and see which poses that I have been working on lately, which ones I haven't been doing, and kind of, you know, develop next week's yoga routine um, that way. So I typically only do yoga maybe like once a week. I really should do it more. Um, but yeah, here just in a second, I'm going to show you what I do. Alright, so then I'm going to go into photo grid, click on the grid, and then I'm going to select the pictures that I want to put in there. So I'm going to use the pictures I just did, and then you can change the layout, because this layout did not work with those pictures. So that's much better. And then you can zoom in, um, or you know, resize the picture so you can see the whole thing. And then once you save it, it'll just be saved into your gallery with all the rest of your pictures. So here's the one I just created now. It looks nice and simple. And then this is one I'm, I've created before. This is what I'm actually going to be using as my reference when I do yoga. So it's more of just what I said, a reference to poses that I feel like are going to be helpful to me. And I pick my poses based off what's sore, what my goals are, and, you know, different things like that. Usually those are the two things, what my goals are and what is sore from my workouts using weights. Um, so basically, even though the pictures are small, I can just zoom in and, you know, it's just a reference really. So it's not the same thing as needing individual words and descriptions. So this app is the S Health app. It came with my phone and I've downloaded, not downloaded, but I have the yoga widget there. And I'm just going to hit start and then I'll just keep track of the time, how long I've been doing yoga for this time, and then it'll tell me an estimated amount of how many calories I probably burnt. So the reason that I like to do yoga, well one of the main reasons is to stretch out obviously those sore muscles from my regular workout. And I probably should do this maybe like two times a week rather than just one. Um, I do occasionally do sort of a yoga-ish routine first thing in the morning. Not every morning, but I do try to do that. But that's a little bit different. That's more of just waking myself up yoga. This is actually trying to work on flexibility, um, core strength, and uh, different positions that I just need to you know, get better at. Um, one of the things that I am trying to work on, this is part of my fitness goals for the year, is to be able to do arm balances um, and head balances, arm stands, head stands, that sort of thing. Um, you know, I can do some of them, but I want to, you know, really get better at those. So that takes a lot of core strength, so I like to do yoga workouts with that. Um, a lot of the leg workout, yoga workouts I do are because I do a lot of leg workouts with weights, so I definitely need to stretch those out. Um, so here I am trying to do an arm balance, and you know, I have the whole thing sped up, so you can't quite tell, but I did hold it for like a couple seconds. Um, but then, uh, yeah, I just I was having an off day. I don't think I had my... Uh, knees in the right position actually. This is one that I just keep falling over when I try and do it. I haven't been able to fully accomplish that move, but that's how you start is you just try and you do as much as you can and you'll eventually get better at it. So here's doing headstands. This is one that I've been able to do for a while. It's the easiest headstand um, and you know that one's a really fun one. 
So I start with that one, and here I am gonna try and do a different one. And this one actually was very easy, much like the last one. The position of your hands is a little bit different. Um, my goal is to be able to do, um, oh, what is it called? Just handstands. I just wanna be able to do some handstands. Um, and maybe eventually just walk around on my hands. I just feel like that would be a really cool thing to accomplish. So that's what all of these are heading up to. And then I wanted to do some stuff against the wall because that's a new thing on Pinterest I've been seeing. And I realized after doing this, because this is the first time I've been doing stuff against the wall, that I do not have as much flexibility as I thought. You know, a lot of these people are basically able to do the splits, and I, I can't do the splits. Um, but here again, I'm practicing doing arm. Um, Headstand, sorry. And that's kind of the same thing. It's just, you know, instead of against the wall, I'm trying to jump up into that position. So it's a really simple workout, and it seems like really, really short because I sped it up like eight times the speed on my computer. And look at that. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just really trying to encourage you guys to stretch or do yoga. Um, you know, try different moves, even if you're not sure you can do them or they look really hard, like me, I fall over sometimes, but it's really good. And then there I did 35 minutes of my yoga workout.